the mysterious Mayan civilization collapsed because of a severe drought, a study has confirmed. The people dominated Central and South America flourished until 800 AD, building spectacular pyramids and temples, but by 1000 AD had collapsed. And by the time Spanish conquistadors made contact with what was left in the 16th century, jungle vines were flourishing on abandoned limestone cities. Theories to explain the once mighty empire's drastic decline have included invasion by foreign powers, war, disease and a collapse in trade. Now researchers from the universities of Cambridge and Florida, have found strong evidence that a long period of drought had devastating effects on this vast civilization. They found this out by looking at water samples in Mexico's Lake Chacancanab, where the Maya were based. Scientists worked this out by measuring isotopes of water in gypsum, a mineral which can form in lakes during times of drought. When gypsum forms, water molecules are incorporated directly into its crystalline structure, and this water records the different isotopes that were present in the ancient lake water at the time of its formation. In periods of drought, more water evaporates from lakes such as Shakan Kanab, and because the lighter isotopes of water evaporate faster, the water becomes heavier. Nick Evans, a PhD student in Cambridge's Department of Earth Sciences and the paper's first author, told Mail Online. A higher proportion of the heavier isotopes, such as oxygen-18 and hydrogen-2, would therefore indicate drought conditions. By mapping the proportion of the different isotopes contained within each layer of gypsum, the researchers were able to build a model to estimate past changes in rainfall, and relative humidity over the period of the Maya collapse, Mr. Evans said. Based on these measurements, the researchers found that annual precipitation decreased between 41% and 54% during the period of the Maya civilization's collapse, with periods of up to 70% rainfall reduction during peak drought conditions. Prior results pointed to more modest reductions in rainfall, but our new methodology using all stable isotopes in water reveals the droughts in northern Yucatan were more severe than previously thought, Mr. Evans said. The role of climate change in the collapse of classic Maya civilization is somewhat controversial, partly because previous records are limited to qualitative reconstructions, for example whether conditions were wetter or drier, he said. Climate change and drought were proposed in the 1990s, but had remained contested. The study is the first to present statistically robust estimates of rainfall and humidity levels during the civilization's downfall. Professor David Hodel, director of Cambridge's Godwin Laboratory for Paleoclimate Research said, this method is highly accurate and is almost like measuring the water itself. Maya civilization is divided into four main periods, the pre-classic, 2000 BCE to 250 CE, classic, 250 CE to 800 CE, terminal classic, 800 to 1000 CE, and post-classic, 1000 CE to 1539 CE. The classic period was marked by the construction of monumental architecture, intellectual and artistic development, and the growth of large city-states. During the 9th century however, there was a major political collapse in the central Maya region, their famous limestone cities were abandoned and dynasties ended. One of the problems of working out what happened to the Mayans was that their books were all burnt on the orders of Catholic priests, said Mr. Evans. And while the Maya people survived beyond this period, their political and economic power was depleted, researchers write in the paper, published in the journal Science. Two intervals of political disintegration have been identified in previous studies. The first corresponded to a period of political collapse at centers in the Puuc and other interior regions from AD 850 to 925. The second interval of political collapse occurred around AD 1000, and featured the end of monumental construction and hieroglyphic inscriptions at some Puuc centers, and at Chicken Itza around AD 1025 to 1050. The demise therefore occurred over a 200 to 300 year period, 